Hi everyone, uh, I'm Adele and I live in Pretoria in South Africa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Yarn Creations, where I share all my yarn related crafts. Today is just a quick check in. Um, I had a procedure done on my hand, on my wrist, and um, I was I didn't get much uh, knitting and crocheting and crafting done in the last say three weeks so um, I just thought I, I quickly wanted to check in and um, quickly announce the winners I feel so bad that I haven't done that yet I always I thought over the time that um, there will be a, a better time to do it but the um the best time never occurs <laughs> so um, i'm not going even to try and do this more than once so it's just this once off so please forgive me if i'm rusty or making mistakes um yes so um, i'm still a little bit bruised i had a ganglion cyst removed on my hand so i couldn't um, I didn't want to show the whole bandaged and splint thing on my hand on camera. But um, yes, I just quickly wanted to check in. So first of all, I want to announce the two winners of the gifts that I showed you last time. I don't have them with me. I showed them in the previous uh, episode. Uh, the uh, one set is a, a tulip knit set fine gauge knit set and the other one is crochet hooks so um first of all i i used the youtube random picker comment picker to uh, get the number and the names now quickly and um it's it's just a very funny coincidence that these two persons are friends. <laughs> I just laughed by myself when I saw that. It was really funny to me. So the, the uh, tulip knit set goes to Marina Berger. And she said it's another wonderful episode uh, with much projects and knowledge. And uh, she likes my summer cotton top that I'm busy with and that she would um, love to have the tulip knitting set for socks because I know she does knit a lot of socks. So congratulations, Marina. You are the winner of the fine gauge bamboo tulip knit set for socks. And I'm sure the winner of the crochet um, set can now guess who she is. It's Anneli Fushia. <laughs> Congratulations, Anneli. And um, she says the crochet set is lovely and it would be lovely to have. Thank you so much for both of you for uh, supporting my channel. And congratulations on winning those lovely Tula products. And thank you once again to Mariki for gifting us those lovely projects. So, um, yes, that's that then for that giveaway. I'm sorry that it took me so long. And sorry, I, I used the word that I think um, draws some spam comments. So, please be aware that um, I will never ask you for any conf um, information on the comments, on your comments. And I will never announce, again, announce the winner's I will never let you know um, via the comments if you are a winner. So if you get any uh, comments, please just ignore them and report them if you can. I will only um, announce it here and show it um, that I picked the numbers on the with the random comment picker. So um, yes, as I said, I couldn't do very much um, over the past three weeks. And before that, I really... Um, had quite a few things I knew that I had to do more in the house that I knew I probably wouldn't get to uh, when, after the operation. 
so but one of the things i did do it's still not washed or the ends have not been trimmed but i did weave a little bit so this was just another wrap i weaved with some one of a kind yarns It's a, a, a DK yarn and it's my usual, um, this time I used my 7.5 read, my whole 70 centimeter knitter's loom and I uh, walked 2.5 meters again. So the size is approximately 1.8 meters plus the fringe so as i said nothing has been trimmed it doesn't hasn't been washed yet and this is one of those colors that never comes out correctly on the camera and then um, i'm busy uh, or i was busy <laughs> before my operation to join these granny uh, squares um, now so I've got two done in the next row and um, it's just with a, a it's a join as you go and I'm doing two rounds with a gray and then uh, just a join as you go and uh, i'm following the tutorial once again the the perfectly square square was by kay jones on the, their patreon page and the joining as well that is just uh, below the perfectly square square uh, video i found a new a newer video on how to join how to join as you go but she only does one round um before joining i'm doing two rounds I do like the very neat corner. Um, I dyed up some uh, some of the South African 7525 Merino nylon base, the same as the squares. And I just, I had a, a gray in mind for this. So I just dyed up two skeins. And I think it works quite well. Um, I hope it's enough. I'm sure it will be. I've still got quite a few uh, squares to join. So it will be a nice lap blanket or uh, quite a big uh, baby blanket. So that is um, what I was busy with. And um, I was also busy with uh, my, still busy with my brioche um, shawl, the bouquet shawl. I will put all the details again below this video. Uh, I did not put it on a bigger needle. I'm not sure how big I'm going to make it. Uh, I've got a bit of an issue with uh, if I do the next. Um, I've got 400 stitches on the needles now. If I do the next increase round, I will have 800 stitches on the needles. And I'm a bit unsure if I feel up to that. So I was thinking that maybe I would put a lifeline in and only do half the increases and then half the rows and see how that goes. Or maybe I will just make this one a little bit shorter and um, stop when I'm busy. I'm finished with the amount of rows that I have to do before the next increase round. I will have to see but i did change my mind i took the, that red the variegated with the teal and the red out and the red one and i'm now um, i'm using this one at the moment and then if i have to i will use this they are both from dye house yarns um, i'm a bit i'm <clears throat> not sure that i want to use this one because i've got four skeins and this one i was a bit sorry to use but it is the best choice to use with this. Um, as you can see, I'm, as you can see, it's it's matching quite good. 
So that is the brochure that I was busy with. And then the um, last one is the summer top, the cotton summer top that I'm doing with the, that I showed you last time with the Katya cotton candy, baby candy, also a discontinued yarn. I finished the body. And um, I'm slowly getting into knitting again. So I picked up um, the stitches for the first sleeve and I just did a few rows. So um, apologies for that. It's still the bruising from the operation. So I did a, a, again uh, the moss stitch. Edging at the bottom and I think if I remember correctly two rows of stockinette and then the Russian bind off so what I sometimes do I can't remember <laughs> because this I've, I um, I did before the operation and um, I think what I do nowadays is I turn in the knitting inside out and then I do the Russian bind off bind off for some or other reason that looks better or I like the look of that so yes um, this is almost done so just the sleeves and then this one will be done it's funny how the uh, coloring changes when I'm a little bit uh, further away not much difference in this one but um, I don't want to sit too far away then um, I, 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 some people say that they can't hear me properly I've checked it on my phone and on my iPad and the sound I can hear it quite well I'm not sure if maybe it's sitting on a laptop I'm not sure so that is it so it's a short one today I'm sure that I, I will slowly get into the knitting and the crocheting and the crafting again and that next episode will be a longer one. I just wanted to um, check in and um, announce the winners and once again congratulations to Marina and Anneli. Marina for the knit, fine gauge tulip knit set and Anneli for the tulip crochet books. So um, until next time, enjoy your crafting. Goodbye.